بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آر یو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از یور انگلش پیریڈ فرسٹ ریسائڈ دعا ربی زدن علما او مائی لارڈ انکریز مائی نالج پیٹ اوپن یور بک پیج نمبر ایٹین وی آر آن پیج نمبر ایٹین بیچے اینڈ دس از دا پارٹ آف اوور چیپٹر نمبر فائیو دا کھیٹا پلر آل رائٹ چوجے وی ول اسٹارٹ وتھ دا ہیڈنگ دا مشروم This time Alice waited quietly until the caterpillar was ready to say something. The caterpillar took the pipe out of his mouth. Then he got down off the mushroom. Saying, one side of the mushroom will make you grow taller, the other side will make you grow shorter. A few seconds later he was gone. Alice looked at the mushroom carefully. Then she broke off a piece with each hand. She ate a little piece. The next moment, she was becoming smaller and smaller. Quickly, she ate some from the other piece. A moment later, when she looked down, she saw only her neck. It was very, very long. Where have my shoulders gone? said Alice. And oh, my poor hands, I can't see you at all. Come to next page. She moved her neck and it bent easily. Then a large pigeon flew near her face. A snake, shouted the pigeon angrily. I am not a snake, said Alice. Go away and leave me alone. A snake, I say again, repeated the pigeon in a quieter voice. I have tried everything but they still come back. I don't know what you are talking about, said Alice. A snake, I can't get away from them, the pigeon said. Alice still couldn't understand what it was talking about. She waited until the pigeon had finished. See, now this is the Alice. Her neck is very long and this is the pigeon who is again and again saying snake, snake. All right. The pigeon's ex. It is so hard keeping my ex safe from snakes, said the pigeon. I have to watch out for a snake from morning until night. I haven't been able to sleep for three weeks. I am very sorry for you, said Alice. She was just beginning to understand. Now I have found the tallest tree in the forest, the pigeon continued in a loud voice. And you come down from the sky. Snake, turn the page. But I am not a snake, said Alice. Well, what are you, said the pigeon. I am... I am a little girl, said Alice. I don't believe that, said the pigeon. I have never seen a girl with a neck like yours. No, no, you are a snake. Please don't tell me you are something else. I suppose you have never eaten an egg? I have eaten eggs, of course, said Alice. Little girls like to eat eggs too, you know. I don't believe it, said the pigeon. But if they do, then they are just the same as the snakes. Back to the right size. That was a new idea to Alice and it made her keep quiet. The pigeon then added, You are looking for eggs, I know you are. But I am not looking for eggs, I don't want your eggs. Go away then, said the pigeon. She sat down again on her eggs. Alice remembered the pieces of mushroom in her hands. She started eating them again. At last, she was back to her normal height. How funny all these changes are, she said to herself. I am never sure what I am going to be. Now I am back to my right size. The next thing to get into that beautiful garden. Just then, she saw a little house about four feet high. Who lives there? thought Alice. Well, it wouldn't be nice to meet them while I am this size. They would be very frightened to see me. So she began to eat a little piece of the mushroom until she grew smaller. Soon she was nine inches high. All right, so with this, our chapter number five, the caterpillar is finished. I hope you enjoyed the chapter. Read these pages again. Write the difficult words in your notebook. Take care of yourself. Jazakallahu khairan kaseera. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.